is our new Argentine blue tegu, and her name is Snow White. <laughs> And my friends over at Toad Ranch actually sent me this dope new enclosure for the Tegu. Let's go ahead and look at what she's in now. And this was just her temporary enclosure here for quarantine till she was ready to go into something bigger, which is happening today. Man, wow, that was weird. It does so much for us, Pickle. I'm good. I think we need to help build them an enclosure today. Build him an enclosure. Let's go look for materials. Pickle, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So I reached out to my friends over at Toad Ranch and asked if they could help me out with an enclosure for Snow White. I've been a fan of Toad Ranch for quite some time when I first seen them come out and they had this amazing technology where they're using a material that was perfect for reptiles but it looked more natural with wood grain. Immediately I love their way that they build things so it's interesting to see the process that they actually go through and what this enclosure is actually going to look like once it gets done and it's shipped out to us. And it got here earlier today. You set it right by the curb. I don't know exactly what they sent me, so I'm anxious to see what's inside these boxes. Toad Ranch quality craftsmanship. I am so excited. I've loved these enclosures from the day that I saw them, and now we finally have one. Now we have to just figure out how to put it together. And just like always, it's gonna be a challenge. That's real, where'd you go? <laughs> Over here. Oh. oh my goodness, this is perfect. If we build an enclosure for him, that's so much better than buying him something because it's made of love. And you cheap. Know? And it's cheap. I think we need some real sturdy wood. Oh my god, this is perfect! It's beautiful! And there's two of them! Nice! Stop the piece. This way. I'll come back for that later. Let's go find some wood. got the wood! Dirty, sturdy wood. I'm definitely going to use Screw gun? Clean it first? No. Uh, we have three screws. That's way more than enough. No, first step, demo. Safety first, Mike. Want to make sure that people are understanding that men are working. Should we have safety glasses? Uh, just won't go. I got some safety goggles. Ah! Something's not right with these safety goggles. Uh -uh. What I think I'm going to need for this build is this screwdriver and a knife to open it up. I have no idea what else I might need, but once we open this all up, I hope there's maybe some direction so that I have an idea of what the heck I'm doing. Look at that. Ooh, sexy. Sexy, yes. Easy to put together, we'll see. Certainly there's a lot of pieces here. Oh, this is the glass. I think this is the actual outside color, which I absolutely love. Look at it, it's like wood grain. I think they call this driftwood. Definitely one of my favorite colors that they have. Screws. Black finger pulls for hood and stand. Stickers. Screws and stickers, check. Directions, not yet, but I'll be racking my brain trying to figure this one out. Kind of see what's going on here. This is the front that's gonna look kind of like this color. And then these are the side. Top is over there, the back is over here. Still not exactly sure what the bottom is gonna be like, but I'm sure there's gotta be a plan by the time I get done with this. So let's just start screwing things together. In my life, I put together so many reptile cages and they've really changed over the time that I've been working with it. This material seems to be really good to work with and relatively simple to put together. It's looking like we're starting to have a cage here. And actually, once we started to figure it out, it came together pretty quickly. But I'm still a little bit of myth here. This is the bottom. It's gonna have to figure it out as we go, right? And with only a few screws left, it looks like we have a cage coming together. Although there's still that mystery missing bottom looming ahead. I don't really know what this is for. There's two of them. Let's find out what's in the other boxes. I don't know. Look out. Here comes the big boy. Dad's going to be so excited, Mike, when he sees this. Oh, yeah, dude. Mr. Brian's going to be so proud. Why, is this a frame? Look at that. I'm like a genius. That's a good start. And they're working. There's guys over here working. How? Respect the safety. No, I think you said demo was done. Are you guys supposed to be wearing, like, hard helmets? We got glasses and we got gloves. Ooh, Mike, <laughs> watch where you're drilling around. Oh, all we need is one Whoa. more screw. Okay, Mike, how many screws do we have left? We're out. Out of screws? This is not much of a cage. This box, I'm pretty darn confused, but I'm on the lookout for directions, and I think I may just have found them. I gave him a quick read to see what I'm supposed to do, but I'm still pretty confused. Oh, well, let's just keep building and hope we figure this one out. This another front that's gonna be amazing. Still not 100% sure how this whole thing is gonna work, but I'm gonna keep on trying to figure it out. I know it's gonna look really amazing when it's done. Oh, wait, wait. Another one. Oh, another one. Dad does so much for us, Mike. He's gonna be so happy. Like, we're paying him back. That's our frame right there. Now that's a frame. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Check the first. We learned so much from watching Mr. Brian that I feel like it's second nature for us. It's in our blood. Oh, nice. That's a solid piece. <laughs> Think you can screw this one in? You got it. 
Look how good this piece is right here. I love more I just put in the safety. Do you see the vision coming through? Bam, bam, bam. Mike, I got the perfect piece. The architecture on that. Nice. nice. Come on, get in there. Come on, man. Did yeah. you get it? That's it. Oh, look at it go. It's going. This enclosure is truly easy to put together, but I'm still confused on where the cage is. All I know is I'm happy to be getting Snow White a new home. This is my favorite thing I do for my animals. Interestingly enough, you know, because there's a track here, I assume this was a cage, I figured this was a shelf, and then I thought that was a cage with maybe the viewing panels, but ironically enough, I think this is the base here, and this is the hood, and the cage actually goes in between them, which we have to put together right now. Back at you with my friends over at HelloFresh. You guys know that I love HelloFresh, been using them forever. Today we got some really good stuff, shrimp spaghetti with a kick. I can't think of three combinations I like better. The holidays are just around the corner, and HelloFresh makes this busy time the year easier than ever with chef curated recipes and pre-proportioned ingredients delivered right to your door so you can spend less time on meal planning and prepping. Cozy up with seasonal favorites like cowboy turkey or black bean chili, mushroom ravioli with kale and walnuts, or sweet corn and green pepper chowder. As your calendar starts to fill up this season, you can count on HelloFresh to get some of your free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and pre-proportioned ingredients come right to your door so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of prep. With over 35 weekly recipes, there's something to please everyone. You can easily customize your recipes by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading choice of proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. Whether you're hosting a holiday party or just stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything you need with HelloFresh Market. From quick breakfast and charcuterie boards and desserts, it's never been easier to prep for a party or fill your pantry. Go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code 60BrianB for 60% off plus free shipping. Give this a try. Mm -hmm. mm, never ceases to amaze me. And now you can go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code 60BrianB to save 60% off plus free shipping. How about you keep it down over there? I'm trying to do something for my pa. Dude, no, you gotta be gentle. That's why all the wood's splitting. Nailed it. Screwed it. Pop it. How long are these screws? About six inches. How'd that piece fall off? Is that attached? Nope. Dang it. Yeah! Nice! Nice! We already got A side up. Need some more structural support. Maybe we make this side the front. We need the back wall and the side wall. Think more of like an open concept. Ah! This is hard work. <laughs> okay, then you. Yeah, now my other question too, how are we going to get this in the door? We're out of wood, and there's no more good pieces over there. You think we got any cardboard? We can check. So, if my plan is right, this is the actual enclosure that the animal goes into. I thought that those enclosures were a little bit smaller. I was like, wow, it's kind of a little smaller than I expected. So now I got it under control. And take a look at this. It's a backdrop. <laughs> That's one of the things I like about Toad Ranch, that they actually make backdrops that look like this. There's a whole bunch of different scenes that you can use. This looks amazing, and that's a lot bigger enclosure than those other ones. There's no doubt about that. And now we're on to the actual enclosure. It's all coming together. And now we can start cooking with gas. Finally, we found the real glass. Took us three boxes to find it, but here's the glass. But not just the glass, we finally found the screen top. Oh, now it all makes sense. Sometimes in life, you don't know exactly what you're building. Relationships, careers, dreams, but once it comes together, it makes perfect sense. Or something like that. Just a few more screws and we're good to go. And that's the last screw. It's all put together. Now it's time to just assemble it. That looks like almost an empty box. Can you help us with this real quick? Can we steal this box? You just want the big box? Yeah. Just give me what's inside it. Jeez. Union 15, bro. Whoa, dude, this was so easy. <laughs> Hurry up, Noah, your 15 minutes is up. Now don't cut through it. Go to the edge and stop. Always cut towards yourself. Oh. Dude, it fits perfect. It fits perfect. Now all we gotta do is screw it on. That didn't have much resistance. I don't think that. that These are called test screws. 
right there, right there. B7, B7. Nice. A9, A9. Nice. Mortar Jew. Take a hit. Got it. Assembling this enclosure was absolute free and went together in seconds. <laughs> there it is. This is absolutely a dope unit. You put your lights and stuff like that up here. The actual black things that we thought were glass originally actually go right here, which is cool. We also have a black shelf here where you can you know, put whatever, your reptile bolts, and then the actual cage here. So let's go ahead and put the doors and all the windows in. Putting the glass in this one is one of my favorite parts of making an enclosure. Oh. <laughs> Oof, but I gotta be careful. Don't wanna break the glass, but the finishing touches really make this cage come alive. Sliders up here, glass in here, down there. This thing is absolutely incredible. Let's go show the boys. We'll put one right here. Just think that's a bit overkill. Ah, whatever. The hurricane test. They could hold up within 50 miles per hour wind. Mm -hmm. All right, I think it's time for Dad to see his new gift. Let's go get Mr. Brian. You've done so much for us, Dad. We just decided that we're gonna repay you. All right, are you ready for the surprise? Yeah. Three, two. What do you think? Isn't it amazing? It's, it's a new Tango enclosure. We decided no to surprise you. No way, it's new house. It's I mean, I, plenty I, big I, enough. Don't you love it? I look, mean, look it, at this. It has a locking mechanism. Front door over here with a little hood flap. I was like. The hood, cross beam. I appreciate your no, guys. No, no, wait, wait. It's got a cross beam cross to support beam. the top. Aerodynamic modern dive. It's modern art. This one. Do you think that this side here? It's really nice and sturdy because we, we only use the best, down here. the best cherry wood on this side. Yeah, you like the cherry wood? <laughs> really good. Uh, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm glad that you spent so much time building this, but unfortunately, we already got a Tegu enclosure from Toad Ranch and we've already built it. Did you guys see it yet? I we mean, it's, got, we're building this. this. Is a it's just a little bit better than Let's go check it out. Better than this? What do you guys think? What is this? This is the new Tegu cage. New what? Tegu cage. I mean, this isn't even real maple wood. Yeah, That's it, garbage. Real wood. No, yeah, but this looks, I mean, come on, guys. It's like crap. No, this looks really good. The animal can't get out. You guys had spaces where the animal could no, get out. It's 2022, know. Dad. New design. Get new with the times. I like it. I'm going to keep this one. That's where you have your lights. Lights? Where do you put your lights for your The outside. sun, Arcadium rhythm. Circadian rhythm, you mean? That's a bug in the sky. <laughs> No, that's a cicada. Call it a stupid. Not at all. I think you guys did brilliant. I just think this is a little bit nicer. It's just not even fair. We try to do something nice. Look at all that junk. We can, you know what? Why don't we Can't win them all. We're gonna make a new cave. This new is good cave. material. We're gonna show you. While they're showing me, why don't we show Snow White her new home? One second, dude. It's really dangerous. <laughs> All right, you got enough room in here? Watch your head. Don't sit up at all. You'll get a nine inch nail right to your head. Ah! I don't know what dad's talking about. This Look how sturdy. Dude, this is amazing. I'm gonna live in this. Do you remember where we put my fork? Oh yeah, we screwed it into the mainframe. Of course we did. Let's go see how Snow White likes her new enclosure. It matches perfectly, by the way. What a perfect color scheme. Of course we're gonna do decorations. We gotta get water, some climbing. We gotta put lights in and so on like that. But I think she's gonna look great here. Again, probably not a lifelong thing, but for the next six or eight months, before we move over to the next place, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. I'm so glad how this whole thing worked out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, Dad. <laughs>